So Elon Musk's AI company XAI just dropped a major upgrade to their Grok chatbot, Grok 1.5. And let me tell you, this thing is wild. This new version has much better reasoning abilities and can understand and process way longer pieces of text. For those not in the loop, Grok is XAI's chatbot that can understand human language, answer questions, solve problems, and even code. Kind of like ChatGBT or Claude from Anthropic, but built by Elon's separate AI startup. Now, with Grok 1.5, they took that core concept and cranked everything up to 11. This new version has vastly improved reasoning abilities that allow it to tackle complex coding and math challenges way better than before. Grok 1.5 will be available for a small group of early users to try out. These are people who have already used Grok before or who have signed up to test new versions early. They will be able to access Grok 1.5 on the X social media app in just a few days from now. However, Elon Musk has bigger plans for future Grok versions. He says the goal is for Grok 2, which is currently still being developed and trained, to eventually become better than all other AI systems at every type of task. So while Grok 1.5 is already very impressive, Musk believes Grok 2 will outperform and surpass every AI assistant and model out there from companies like Google, OpenAI, Microsoft, and others. In short, Grok 2 is aiming to be the new number one AI in the world. So what's new and improved with Grok 1.5? A few key things. First off, Grok 1.5 is a whole lot smarter when it comes to reasoning and problem-solving tasks. On one math test called GSM-8K, the previous Grok version only got 62.9% of the problems right. But Grok 1.5 scored an incredible 90% accuracy. That's like going from a D grade to an A plus overnight. It gets even crazier though. Grok 1.5 more than doubled its score on another major math test compared to the older version. We're talking jumping from 23.9% all the way up to 50.6%. But math isn't the only subject Grok 1.5 is excelling at. It also demonstrated much improved skills at things like code generation and solving programming challenges. On a test called Human Eval that evaluates these abilities, it racked up an impressive 74.1% score. So whether it's crunching numbers, writing code, or tackling all sorts of other logic-based tasks, Grok 1.5's reasoning and problem-solving chops have taken an absolute quantum leap. As if those upgrades weren't enough, the XAI team also supercharged Grok's ability to process and understand gigantic amounts of context and background information at once. We're talking about its massively increased context window. While the previous version only handled about 8,000 tokens, words or numbers, of context, Grok 1.5 can understand and make sense of context up to 128,000 tokens long. That's 16 times more context. This means Grok 1.5 can process much more relevant information from long documents, novels, research papers, and so on when answering questions or completing tasks. Tests showed it could perfectly retrieve and utilize information from context up to the full 128,000 token limit. And according to XAI, tests showed Grok 1.5 could perfectly retrieve precise relevant details from context with 100% accuracy. But wait, that's not all. For all its incredible abilities, Grok 1.5 isn't quite beating the latest and greatest AI systems from tech giants like Google and OpenAI across the board just yet. At least, not according to tests on some major AI benchmarks. When tested on popular AI benchmarks like MMLU and Math, Grok 1.5 did outperform some other notable AIs like Mistral Large and certain versions of Anthropic's Claude model. But it still fell a bit short of cutting-edge stuff like Google's Gemini 1.5 and OpenAI's GPT-4 in overall scores. But here's the crazy part. Grok 1.5 was built by a relatively tiny startup with way fewer resources and manpower compared to those big tech giants. So for it to even be in the same ballpark as their billion-dollar AI projects is downright remarkable. Not to mention the XAI team has already been testing future versions like a Grok 2 that they claim could leapfrog the competition entirely. So while it may not be the undisputed champion quite yet, 
Grok's immense potential is absolutely putting the AI giants on notice. So how did XAI's engineers manage to build such an advanced and capable AI system? Part of the secret sauce is Grok 1.5's robust custom training infrastructure. It's built on top of cutting-edge technologies like JAX, Rust, and Kubernetes which allows for efficient distributed training of huge AI models across massive computer clusters. The infrastructure is designed for maximum reliability with smart systems to automatically detect problematic nodes, optimize data loading and model restarts, and minimize downtime. This ensures very large and complex models like Grok 1.5 can be trained smoothly from start to finish. The XAI team says their training stack allows them to prototype new AI ideas and architectures at a huge scale with minimal effort. That's how they've managed to make such rapid progress in under a year since Elon Musk first announced this project. Another interesting thing about Grok is that XAI has chosen to make it open source, releasing the base code under a permissive Apache 2.0 license a few weeks ago. This lines up with Elon Musk's criticism of OpenAI allegedly moving away from its open source roots in favor of a more closed and commercial approach. However, while the underlying Grok code may be open, actually accessing and using the Grok 1.5 AI itself isn't quite as open. At least initially, you'll need to be a premium subscriber to X, formerly Twitter, and go through a verification process to try out the chatbot's capabilities. This paywall and verification requirement could limit Grok 1.5's accessibility, at least compared to more open AI systems. But XAI says they want to get feedback from an initial user base before opening it up more widely. Now, the release of Grok 1.5 is just the latest salvo in the AI arms race between tech giants like Google, OpenAI, Anthropic, and Microsoft, as well as startups like XAI. Just in the last few months, we've seen game-changing releases like GPT-4, Claude, and Gemini Pro 1.5. And there's more on the horizon with rumors of an intermediate GPT-4.5 model coming soon and GPT-5 potentially arriving mid-2024. Google is also hard at work on multimodal AI that can understand different data types like text, images, and audio in unison. In this ultra-competitive landscape, Grok 1.5 allows the relatively small XAI team to plant its flag and demonstrate they can punch well above their weight class when it comes to cutting-edge AI capabilities. Of course, the proof will be in real-world usage as Grok 1.5 gets into the hands of more testers and the general public. People will be able to judge for themselves how well it stacks up against incumbent AI assistance in terms of accuracy, coherence, reasoning ability, and overall usefulness. But for now, Grok 1.5 is an impressive flex that should make the big tech giants nervous. I'm genuinely excited to see how Grok 1.5 fares as it gets into more real-world testing scenarios. Do you think that one day Grok 2.0 could outperform ChatGPT, Gemini, and all the other big bosses of AI? Well, as always, drop an AI in the comments if you made it this far, and let me know what you think about Grok 1.5 and the broader AI arms race as a whole. I'd love to hear your thoughts. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.